calling our club forever. When in doubt, sit out. If you ever kind of lost on bottom, get to a sit out. Gives me a pretty good chance. I got my back straight. I got my feet in the mat. So anytime I'm, anytime I'm in trouble in a match, just when in doubt, sit out. Get to a sit out. A lot of times what happens, we'll get this two-on-one wrist tilt, and guys will try to sit out to try to get to you so they can start peeling the wrist. It's not a bad idea. When we have a two-on-one wrist tilt and they try to sit out, we're going to pull them up on top of us, and we're just going to spin them off to the side. When I have that two-on-one wrist tilt, it makes it easy to spin their body. Okay? So this is what's going to happen. Folks going to be flat. I'm going to go back to the same scenario. I'm blocking here. I'm just being annoyed. My toes are on the mat. He's wiggling. He's trying to get up. I'm going to catch the fingers. As he starts to build his base, I'm going to windshield wiper it inside. Okay? I'm feeding that hand inside. Now I get to this position, and I start to drive and scoop. He gets to his sit-out. He just pushes back. So I end up in this sit-out position with a two-on-one wrist tilt. Don't panic. I'm just going to pull him tight into me and spin him off to the side. I always want to spin him to the elbow control side. So I got his elbow control on the left, so I'm going to snatch him into my lap, and I'm going to spin him off to the left side. Okay? We're just going to rotate that tilt off to the side. See how I'm perpendicular? And I'm just going to dump him. So I'm getting this position here. I'm getting ready to scoop and tilt him. He pushes back, sits out into me right here. I just pull him into my chest, snatch him back, spin that wrist away. See, I spun the elbow away. Still pulling the wrist, chopping the elbow, bottom knee to the ceiling, trap, tilting that far leg. If you want to grab your own wrist right, uh, sock right here, I'm perfectly fine with that. Okay? Perfectly fine with that. Come on, somebody else. So right when they try to sit out, I'm going to snatch them into my lap, spin the elbow away. Okay? So I'm just blocking here, blocking, blocking, making them work up. Catch the fingers. Rotate it in, feed the wrist. I'm going two on one, I'm snatching it in, trying to scoop here. He's gonna sit back into me, pull him into my lap, spin him off, right to my tilt, okay? Once he puts his hips on top of my hips, he's basically giving me full control. So if he sits to the mat and starts digging with his elbow to free us, and I'll dig with your elbow to free you, yeah, that's different. But once I'm driving here, go back to your base, when I got my knee scooping and he pushes back into me, he's on top of my hips. So all I do is get my feet in the mat, spin the wrist, and get my tilt foot, break foot working. Right back into my tilt. So partner, I want you to just push back your sit, keep that wrist, pull him on top, spin him, spin him right here. My knee should already be up, my foot should already be tilted. 